Do you ever find interesting things to download at about 3 o'clock in the morning? So you decide to load up Jade Downloader and you're like, Oh God, no, the brightness, the brightness. Or maybe you have a roommate and you don't want to blind the crap out of them. But every other program that you have is already in dark mode, but you've been unable to get this program into dark mode. Well, I'm about to show you exactly how to do that and it only takes a few minutes. I bumped into this interesting page on GitHub tonight that talks about how to set up a dark theme for JDownloader 2. Well, you do need the instructions on this page, but all you really need to do is go up here to the code box and click download zip. Get a copy of that because you're going to need that. And I'm going to show you what to do and walk you through. In case I forget, there's a handy list right there. The first thing you need to do is go to settings and click on settings. Then go down here and click on advanced settings. Okay, up here in the filter settings, I want you to type in look and feel. Okay, click only this first thing here. I want you to left click under value where it says default. Change it to black eye. Now it's going to say it doesn't have it and it wants to install it. Just click OK. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, install now. Now JDownloader is going to restart and it's going to look messed up. But it's okay. What you need to do right now is go to File, Backup, Backup All Settings. Go to wherever you want this. I'm going to go to my desktop. Click Save. I think it's going to restart, so just give me a second here. Okay, exit JDownloader. Now, this file I created is just a zip file here. You're going to go ahead and unzip this. Now, this is the file I downloaded from the GitHub page. Go ahead and unzip this also. Now, delete the backup file. Go to where it says Dark Theme Master. Double click on Config. Double click on CFG. Now you're just going to highlight the two of these and right click and go to copy. Go into your CFG folder and copy this right here. Okay, merge everything and replace everything. Now I don't really need this either because I've already used it. So, you're just going to re-archive this. If we want to make it easy, we can just right-click and go to Compress. Type in documents.jdownloader2. Now, I'm going to go to Rename. I don't know if this is necessary, but this seemed to work earlier. I'm just going to delete the zip extension. Okay, rerun J downloader, go to file, backup, restore settings. Okay, JD2 backup, that's what I was supposed to put for an extension. But this should still work anyway. Okay, click open. And there you go, we now have a working dark theme on J downloader 2. But the, unfortunately, this does turn off my setting to not auto start downloads. So I'm going to show you a really quick way that you can fix that. Over here on the filter, you just want to type in auto start. Go here to where it says link grabber settings, auto confirm manager, auto start. Click under value and just click never start downloads. I like to be in control of anything that gets downloaded on my system at all times. Okay, I'm going to test a quick download. I'm going to toggle Clipboard Observer here. It's just the J Downloader install, that's all. All I have to do is click down here on the bottom. I'm just showing you where to click because that little button that was over here disappeared.
I just want to make sure everything looks nice with this dark theme. Nice. I'm totally satisfied with this. Just a quick note, there was a Reddit page with a dark theme technique and the guy who made the page said that if your J downloader looks messed up after you update it, just exit and restart again. I'm not sure if this technique works because I haven't tested it yet, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. Thank you very much to Vinyl Walker for making that excellent GitHub page. I am going to treasure this every time I use this program and finally I don't have to break my eyeballs when all my other programs are already using a dark theme. And thank you everybody for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.